I converted a distributor to a cam position sensor for my EFI build so I could eventually create a sequential setup instead of the wasted spark that I currently have. This is how I did it. The first thing I had to do was pull the distributor apart. This distributor is out of an E21 and it just so happens that it rotates the wrong direction compared to my 2002 distributor, that is a BMW 2002 from 1974. So I was able to take my old distributor and take the gear off of it, which spins in the opposite direction, and transfer that gear over to this one. This is the stock sensor inside the distributor. It's a variable reluctance sensor, and it generates one pulse per cylinder fire. What I need is one pulse each time the engine reaches top dead center. And this way, I can detect when an entire revolution of the engine has occurred. So here we go. The first thing that I had to do was cut off some superfluous metal bits. So I took the shaft and cut off some parts from the mounting plate on the shaft, and I took the variable reluctance sensor and I cut off three of the four metal stakes. These little stakes generate a pulse every time they cross each other, and that pulse is what the computer is sensing. The next thing I did is I welded the vacuum advance plate so that that mechanism wouldn't interfere with my electronic timing. Now we're getting somewhere. The next step is to modify the case to allow the distributor internals to sit lower down inside of the case. I can do this because I no longer need the centrifugal advance mechanism that's inside most old distributors. I then measured and cut the top of the case down so that it would just sit above the new internals of the distributor. I also drilled new holes farther down in the case so that I could attach the variable reluctance sensor inside the distributor in the new location. And here's what I ended up with. This is what it looks like with the internals separated. And this is what it looks like when they're all put together and the case is painted black. I then tack welded the variable reluctance sensor to the shaft so that it wouldn't go anywhere. The distributor can still be disassembled by taking the gear off at the bottom. So this is going to be no problem. And finally, I 3D printed a cap out of PETG designed to snap onto the top and basically just protect it from dust and grime. There won't be any spark going through this anymore. It's just a sensor. And this concludes my conversion of an E21 distributor to a cam position sensor for EFI. Hope this was useful to somebody who might be trying to do the same thing.